Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out the Patch Tuesday security updates for July for both versions of Windows 11 as well. And for Windows 11 22H2, the update is KB5028851. And if you are still running the original release of Windows 11 21H2, the update would be KB5028182. And both updates will be downloaded and installed automatically as the Patch Tuesday updates are known to do. Now, just like Windows 10, as I mentioned in my previous video, Windows 11 gets numerous security fixes, more or less the same as Windows 10, because at the base and core, both operating systems are very similar. So for Windows 11, both versions, we get 85 security fixes rolling out to address 85 vulnerabilities. Six of those are critical vulnerabilities, which is a high strength vulnerability. So this is an important security update. And the six critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means if those critical flaws are not patched, the hackers, the attackers, the bad guys, so to speak, could gain access uh, to your system, as an example, over the internet or over a network. Now, with the security fixes out of the way, if you are running Windows 11 22H2, this is an important update because as I have posted previously, with this Patch Tuesday update for July of 2023, Microsoft now is unlocking the Moment 3 features by default. And they are now giving you access to the new features of the Moment 3 feature update that started rolling out at the end of May and has been progressively rolling out over the last month or so, a couple of months. And um, you should now by default start seeing those features and up until recently, to get the features for Moment 3, you had to have this toggled on, this, this toggle, which is the new get the latest updates as soon as they're available switch. But now, even if this is turned off, you will start seeing the Moment 3 features being made available now on your system by default. So just take note of that. And at the end of May, when Moment 3 first started running out, I did post a full in-depth video on all the new features, which we looked at step by step. And if you are only seeing the new features now, you can go check that video out um, just to get, get a little bit more info and just to keep you up to date. Now, if you are running Windows 11 22H2, over and above the Moment 3 feature update that um, is rolling out now to your system, we also get uh, the new features and bug fixes that rolled out with this update, KB5027303, and that was the June optional bug fix update. And I also posted a video on the update, which you can go check out, and I'll leave a link down below. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, KB5027303 also improves several simplified Chinese fonts. It expands the role of the rollout of notification badging for Microsoft accounts on the start menu. It improves the sharing of a local file in File Explorer. It improves your computer's performance when you use a mouse that has a high report rate for gaming. So that was a nice performance boost for gamers. It also improves the reliability of Windows. And there have been feedback and has been feedback that um, this bug fix update did overall improve the overall general performance of Windows 11 22H2. Um, it also affects virtual memory ranges and plenty more. So as mentioned, those fixes now will be carried over and those improvements will be carried over into this update for Windows 11 22H2. Now, the same applies uh, if you are still running version 21H2. The optional update that rolled out at the end of June was KB5027292, which included two new features and bug fixes. So those will be made available this month if you didn't install that update. And it also improves several simplified Chinese fonts. It also adds new features to Microsoft Defender for endpoints. So that's more for businesses and enterprises. And it also addresses an issue that affected the on-screen keyboard and also include, included numerous fixes. Now, um, once both updates have been installed, um, if you'd like to see your latest build for Windows 11 version 22H2, if we head over to WinVer quickly, uh, version 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 2261.1992. And if you are running Version 21H2, your OS build has been bumped up to 22,000.2176. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.